If you have ears to hear, if you have eyes to see, British Movie Tone News brings the world before you. I refuse to be ashamed of being a novelist. I know that there uh, are so many novels written now that there uh, are far more novel writers than novel readers. But all the same, the real trouble about a novelist is that he, once he's begun, he can't stop. I began at the early age of five, and I expect, if I live, that I shall be writing novels on my deathbed. I'm very sorry for everybody, but uh, there's no need for anyone to read a novel if they don't want to. One of the things that puzzles me most in the whole business of novel writing is the kind of angry sense that people have sometimes that they are being followed down the street by novels like barking dogs. But as a matter of fact, there's nothing in the world quite so quiet as a novel. You can neglect it altogether if you want to. And then not only do you have the trouble of there being so many novels, but it's becoming much worse now because Everybody is beginning to write novels of such an enormous length. Seems to be no limit to the kind of length that novels are going to be. And probably one day soon, there'll be just one novel a year of about 5,000 million words, and people will read little bits of it. Different people are reading different bits. But I, I have a... I engage myself at the moment on a novel that is going to be four separate novels and cover 200 years, all about the same family. And you'll be able to read each volumes separately without having to read the others, so that you won't be so troubled as I am. But I can assure you that if you start writing about a family and you're going to write about them over 200 years, you've no idea the incredible speed with which that family multiplies. Already in the first novel of this series, I've killed about 500 children, almost as bad as King Herod, and I'm going to go on killing children for the next three or four years without cessation. So. Wish me luck in the writing of them. I wish you luck in the reading of them. <laughs>